now for our weekly news segment. Hey guys, and welcome to our news section. Today we're going to discuss a um, lot of things, a lot of uh, huge events, actually, uh, pertaining to vulnerable delistings, uh, new regulations, um, cake wallet stuff, and also happy June. We're in summer officially, so hopefully you all have um, a vacation planned in the next few months. So we've all been working very hard. So I hope to see you all traveling very soon. Um, we're going to begin the new section by watching a uh, video of Biden falling, which is a classic because he's been falling on every single major event, uh, I feel like. So let's watch this video. And three, two, one, to the floor. <laughs> She's just watching and she just uh, walked back. Also, for the people watching on Twitter, um, so basically Biden just fell, I think, on Memorial Day. And then... Um, yeah, that, that's just the video. Um, it's funny, but it's not funny in the same time because he is uh, the leader of the United States. And uh, yeah, the economy is not looking too good. And there's a lot, of, a lot of things that are not looking too good, thanks to him and his administration. But we're not going to get into that. Um, then you're going to say, OK, this is, not a, this is about Monero. It's not about politics. But you can't separate. I mean, the reason why Monero exists is because of the current the administration and the governments and we want to overthrow them so we need to talk i need to show you sometimes stuff like this you know uh, political things or it pertain to the economy because they're all tied together you know we can't just separate them and just focus on Monero. we're going to see what's outside in the world as well uh, which is why i decided to show this video um yeah but let's let's talk about Monero now so it looks like cx are all banning xmr for eu residents then someone posted on um, Reddit as well that um, in Poland, they're going to start banning Monero starting from June 26th. Then if we look on this article, uh, it's not only Poland. I love Poland, but it's not just Poland. It's Spain, Italy, uh, and also France. So starting from June 26th, you will no longer be able to buy or sell 12 privacy tokens. And that's more specifically um, Liquid Dash, um, Zcash, Ryzen, Pivx, Navcoin, Secret Verge, Fire Beam, Mobile Coin, and of course Monero. You may be thinking, why is Binance turning evil? Well, no, the governments are uh, passing regulations to which um, centralized exchanges need to abide to, because if they don't abide to the regulation, then they're just not going to be able to continue the, their, their business. So that's what. Um, that's why. Um, then this brings me to this article, which says that IRS can access Coinbase user trading data. And a Coinbase user had attempted to argue that IRS violated his constitutional rights when it sought his trading data. <laughs> um, now, when you when you use Coinbase, Robinhood, uh, PayPal, um, you know Binance, you basically agree to the platform and their policies. So that's just part of their policy. That that's what you agree to. That they're able to just see your data, right? So this is why you shouldn't use Binance, you shouldn't use Coinbase, you shouldn't use these apps at all. And there's people that per, that I know personally that, you know, I've been telling them for a long time, don't use them, you know, they went, they lost money because some uh, some collapsed, uh, some centralized exchanges collapsed, um, but they're still using Robinhood, they're still using Coinbase. And I keep trying to tell them, please stop using it. Especially if you're in the cryptocurrency space for the revolution, if you're on those platforms, you're actually not helping the re revolution, uh, but you're just helping furthering the re revolution and what we want to achieve because uh, these platforms are tied to the government. So what, what's the point, you know? The point is to have technology that is, that is free from their hands, but they are not helping achieve that. Um, which brings me to uh, this post by Google Yoshi saying, damn, Monero is cool. That's literally it. And that's what the guy had to say. And that's all what I have to say. <laughs> Monero is cool. And you can go and look on Monero. There's other ways to obtain Monero rather than Binance. You can buy it on Coinbase, of course. Um, yeah, and uh, that's how you are part of the revolution, not by being part of Binance and Coinbase. So please stop using them, look into different alternatives. Now, um, why is the government um, so bad? Well. We've been talking about, and as Monero Mateo, Mateo wrote in this tweet, as we've said since forever, price controls are coming, will cause boom in black free market as pricing mechanisms outsourced, yes. Oh, meanwhile, Monero takes over darknet markets, yes. Monero used to buy by shortages, rationing, it's going to happen. Monero establishes use case dominance and inelastic demand, which is going to happen. 
And the Telegraph tweeted, Downing Street is drawing up plans for retailers to introduce price caps on basic food items such as bread and milk to help tackle the rising cost of living. What does this mean? So for the average person, this might be a good thing because, um, you know, we uh, prices are going up and we can't afford as much. So we definitely need to keep them in control, right? Well, guess what? As far as I understand, guess what? That's going to happen um, to, you know, small and medium businesses. It's going to destroy them because if the cost of production is higher and higher, but then you can sell your product for a higher price. So you have a margin of profit to sustain your business and be profitable and to be actually sustain it. Well, guess what? That's going to destroy again, a lot of businesses. And it's not a solution to tackle the rising cost of living. The rising cost of living is not because of uh, the people. The rising cost of living is because of our governments and them irresponsibly printing money and disassociating the dollar from from gold right i mean most currencies are just monopoly money that are just being printed they're nothing we just basically basically agreed i'm showing on the camera for the people watching on twitter i'm showing a one dollar bill this is monopoly this is this is backed by nothing if you go to a bank and you just say can i get something in exchange well before i think 1971 i think that's the year uh when we departed from associating the dollar with the gold they would have said yes here's some gold now they're gonna say uh no i can give you uh, four quarters, if you want that, but nothing else. We just agreed on using this, but it's nothing. It's monopoly. So, uh, which you know, I would have torn it, but I still need need it <laughs> because we still use it. Um, you know, whenever I can't use Monero to purchase other things. Um, but yeah, so governments, not a good thing. Look into Monero, please. Read Monero standard. Uh, read uh, mastering Monero. Look into this stuff. Okay. Now let's get into, let's see what we have over here. Yeah, let's get into some regulations. So basically the EU formally signs the Mika. We talked about Mika in the past. Uh, it's a new, let's go back a little bit. It stands for markets in crypto assets, right? So this is a, a legislation um, with tailored rules for the sector, for the crypto sector, right? To regulate it, to control it. And um, we're going to discuss the specific articles, Article 68 in a little bit. We discussed it in the past, but I'm just going to remind you of it and why it's not a good thing. Uh, but a parliament spokesperson confirmed to Coinbase that the laws in question include Mika and the transfer of funds rules, as well as the two unregula unrelated regulations on trade with Ukraine. Um, it's basically a law that requires crypto providers to verify their customer's identity when they transfer funds, right? This is, this is what um it helps to do pretty much um besides other things it's, it's a very big uh framework that they've been working on since 2020 but um yeah the european union it's uh the first to introduce such a big uh, framework as far as i know um which actually let's discuss yeah let's let's bring this here actually let's discuss this and then we'll get into something else after um so douglas tweeted hey GW Verit coming off uh, of our chat last night. What's your take on this? But breaking Binance to disable privacy coins, Dash, XMR, etc. cetera. Uh, he didn't respond to this, but someone else retweeted two EU blockchain privacy articles for some context. Um, then, of course, Gary, if you're watching, please, you know, if you want to hop on the show, that'll be awesome. Go for a Monero talk. But then um, he gave us two links, one which we actually talked about in the past. European Union outpaces on focused United States and crypto regulations, but Mika Article 68 raises concerns. Then this one as well talks about Article 68. What is Article 68? Well, according to Mika Article 68, the rules for operating a trading platform for crypto for crypto assets must prevent the trading of crypto assets with built-in anonymization unless the holders of the assets and their transaction history can be identified by authorized crypto asset service providers. So this is not appealing to businessmen, uh, businesses. This is not appealing to nobody because you don't have any privacy anymore. So um, yeah, it's not good. And we're going to go back to this post. Damn, Monero is cool. <laughs> um, yeah, because Monero is against, against all this. This all looks nice and to protect the consumer, but this is not what it's all about. And we've been talking about it on, on the previous shows. And I'm um, just going to keep mentioning it's not about your uh, safety, right? It's just about increasing the choke on your neck. 
regulation by regulation, not really educating people. Um, okay, then we're gonna discuss two more things and then we're done with this episode. This one is huge actually, and I'm just gonna read about it a little bit, but please look into uh, uh, the dev section uh, because um, we're gonna go more into de details on the dev section and then please also check out the price report um, and the whole show, of course. So Baudi tweeted, so not only did Monero replace Bitcoin in dark nets, which is true, but it's doing something else Bitcoin couldn't, save Tor from DDoS, which is crazy. So uh, dark.fail um, tweeted, an end to the hidden service DDoS era, huge. Tor projects are just released, Tor 0.4.8.1 alpha, the first to include their new proof of work DDoS mitigation features. And then Negro, uh, then someone, uh, Doug um, wrote, how is Monero specifically saving Tor? Are they implementing random X proof of work? When uh, body said, yeah, I don't know the details, but it's basically a CPU proof of work algo, which bids for bandwidth whenever it starts getting constrained. Really, really interesting. Um, again, I'm not gonna go into too much detail. I'm just gonna touch upon it. Please check out the dev section. And um, yeah, cause you're gonna learn more about it and then I'll go on the internet and um, check it out. Yeah, it's, uh, it's amazing. Now, another huge thing uh, is Kick Labs shutting down KickPay web, not the mobile, mobile, right? You can still access it for your phone, but just not on the web. Um, this is due to issues with the providers. And of course, that um, Vic from Kick Wallet uh, wants to provide the best um, service ever. And uh, yeah, they decided to take it down for now. It's not going to be forever. They want to get it back by the end of the year. They want reliability because they had reliability issues. Um, some, sometimes the service was uh, weak in this deliverance. So yeah, it's not the end of KPay web, you know, um, it's probably gonna come back by the end of the year. Um, I hope the best to KickLab, Vic, everybody working on the team and hopefully it's gonna come back stronger than ever. Of course, again, this is just uh, the web, not the mobile. You can go on your phone and still uh, purchase gift cards. Whew, now, that was a lot <laughs> of interesting things. Uh, thank you guys so much for checking out this uh, video. The links are in the description. Again, check out the dev section, the price report, and the whole show. And if you ever want me to cover something specifically, you can reach out on Twitter, on Telegram, and I'm going to take a look, and we'll cover it next time. But other than that, have a good week, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.